Hey, what's up, guys? This is Brian from Whisper Status 74. It's another Devil May Cry 5 HDR video. Um, the challenge I've had with Devil May Cry 5 is the lack of information of HDR on the PC version. Um, a lot of threads and a lot of the Steam community threads, as well as a few videos showing PC analysis, have said that Devil May Cry does not have an HDR profile. Even though upon loading the game at launch, HDR did not enable and now like Resident Evil 2 Remake HDR enables even if the game or even if your Windows doesn't have HDR enabled itself. I did it with Resident Evil 2 turned off HDR in the Microsoft control panel and it still forced it on. Um, the question I have with Devil May Cry 5 is is it a true HDR profile? A lot of you guys from the last video have said that HDR works fine for you. It does work fine for me as well, meaning that it is on. Um, and some of you guys have complained that you can't turn it off. And that's really the issue. It's hard to turn it off, even turning it off in the control panel. It also doesn't work turning it off in your picture settings of your TV. The only way I've been able to turn it off is this workaround, which is in... The options is to run the game in borderless window, um, which is kind of an oxymoron. In windowed mode, I'd never play that way. But you can see that it's in borderless window, playing now, and HDR is off. And what I like about HDR being off, if it's not a true HDR profile, is you can go back in and mess with your settings however you like. I don't run my normal game mode settings with full backlight, or for instance, I don't mess around with a lot of the settings, extended dynamic, these are settings that are typically on, forced with HDR. I like having gamma down in my games. I actually like having my contrast down slightly as well. All of these settings get ramped up with HDR on. The fear isn't HDR being on, it's HDR being on if it's not legit, if it's a false HDR. So let's go ahead and get out of borderless window, go into full screen. Here we go. Alright, so we're in full screen. Let's see what we got. And look, what's funny is HDR is now off. It's staying off. So, there that goes. Alright, I bet you it's still in a borderless window. How much are you bet? Let's go back. Sorry about that. PC options. Graphics. Ooh, full screen. There's a window, it's lovely. Full screen. See, there should be an apply, and there wasn't. And the screen didn't change. All right, so here we are back. Picture adjustments. HDR is still off. So my point of this video, and any of these videos, is something's wrong with the HDR in general. Um, let's see if the picture, if it changed the color space on me. Go down. See, now we're in full screen. And the color space is still sRGB. Now, if you want it to be BT709, which I'm not sure why it even offers that. which is more in line with non-HDR. Let's see if we go back in and switch that in the options, go back to color space. I'm not sure why they even put this in, to be honest, because there's times where this is actually grayed out. sRGB, and there isn't even an apply, which is interesting. And the game looks slightly different. So we're going to restart the game and see if it puts me back in HDR. 
Now quickly, in Windows, I might add, when HDR is enabled in the control panel of Windows, it will show itself as being on when you're not playing a game, unlike the PlayStation and Xbox, at least on my system. Um, and then when you go into a game, HDR will stay enabled or it will turn off. Be careful, in some older games it doesn't turn off, it stays forced on. But HDR is here, right? It's enabled. You saw me go back to full screen, it didn't turn back on. Okay guys, we restarted the title, now we're back into the settings, and here we are. And HDR is enabled. Now what's interesting with HDR in a lot of games is one, if you force it on in the panel of your display, it tends to look terrible. But we go back in, all the settings are now maxed, except for contrast, oddly enough, but gamma's back up and this and that. So go over to video options. Usually when you go into games that have HDR and then you turn HDR off manually, it tends to look very, very grayed out. It actually doesn't here. Little bit. So my question to you guys is this true HDR? Oops, just kicked my stand. That's kind of my question. Is this true HDR? Um, is this a game that actually has a true HDR profile? I can't find a lot of information on it. Um, even the dark side of gaming and Digital Foundry, their PC analysis, analysis hasn't even talked about HDR. Which leads me to believe that it might not have one. A lot of the Steam community has talked about it not having HDR. Um, a lot of the other uh, Devil May Cry PC videos have said that the PC version didn't have HDR. So in this video here, which is from, let's see, Erase Citizens. Let's listen to this part here, okay? ...on our OLED television and we're very happy with the results. It's a shame that HDR is not an option on PC, as this would look amazing on TVs that support high refresh rates. This is also very disappointing considering that it is an option for Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 7. However, HDR is available on both the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One versions of the game for those who pick up either of the console versions. We installed Devil May Cry 5 on an SSD, making so, the times incredibly short as you can see. I've heard that in a few different videos. How about you guys? Now in the Steam forums. Where is it? Ultra wide support. No, it does not. No HDR on PC. That's not really what I call the best version so far. And I will gladly sacrifice HDR. So a lot of these guys are saying there is an HDR in the game, even though HDR is being forced on by the actual game itself. So again, my question to you guys is, is this true HDR? What have you guys seen? What have you read? Um, by turning HDR off the way I did before with the borderless trick, um, I wasn't able to re-enable it without restarting the game. What's interesting though is turning HDR off with the borderless trick, borderless window, it didn't look any different. So, um, my question to you guys is, what are you seeing? Are you enjoying it with the HDR? Um, I don't like turning HDR off if a game has it, but what are you guys seeing? Are you guys enjoying HDR? Um, and also, please tell me what your NVIDIA control panel color spaces are. Um, I will tell you 4.4 Chroma and HDR do not mix, but full RGB does work fine, um, as well as the other Chroma subsamples, 4.2.0, 4.2.2 work fine as well, but you don't need to change those in order for HDR to be enabled, um, at least with my experience. So what are you seeing with Devil May Cry's HDR? Um, are, you, are you enjoying it? Um, I think the game looks really good, um, but I don't know if I'm really seeing true HDR from what I'm reading. So let me know in the comments what you think, and hopefully they do fix this. But you can turn HDR off with the borderless window, and the game looks pretty much the same, but you can turn it off that way. I showed you in the video. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Are you enjoying the game? And also put in what your color space settings are, and hopefully they resolve this to where it's not forced on. But with Resident Evil 2, it's forced on. So who knows what we're getting. But that's the worst part about PC is who the hell knows. All right, guys. Thank you, as always. Take care.